What's up guys, my name is Brandon and welcome back to the second upload of the day. So if you missed the first upload, be sure to check the link right here on the screen or click the link down in the description. But in this video, I will be showing you how to completely restore your device, remove your jailbreak, and stay on the same firmware on 9.3.3 without the need of a computer. So as we know, iOS 9.3.4 and obviously iOS 10 are not able to be jailbroken at the time. So if you want to restore your device inside of iTunes, you will be upgraded to 9.3.4. And after I'd say probably this week, Apple will stop signing 9.3.3, so you will not be able to downgrade after this week. So if you're on iOS 9.3.3 now and you're thinking about restoring, don't do it through iTunes, do it through this method I'm gonna be showing you today. So let's talk about the tool. The tool is called Cydia Eraser. It actually used to be called Cydia Impactor, which is what we actually use to jailbreak our device now with Pengu. And it was created by Sark himself, the creator of Cydia. So since we will be removing everything off our device, it's highly recommended that you make a backup of all of your data just so you can restore from that backup after we get done restoring from Cydia Eraser. So let's go ahead and get right into it. I will be showing you myself restoring my iPad mini here using the Cydia Eraser tool. All right, so now that we're at the iPad, I'm just gonna go ahead and prove to you that I am jailbroken. So let's go ahead and open up Cydia. And as you can see down there at the bottom, we are on iOS 9.3.3 on an iPad mini. And to install Cydia Eraser, all you need to do is go into Cydia, go to search and just search for Cydia Eraser. All right, so once you install it, you will have this little pencil eraser icon here called Eraser. Go ahead and tap on that. So once you open it up, you will see it says, Welcome to Cydia Eraser. Using this tool will destroy all data on your device, revert all changes to files on the device, remove the jailbreak, and return it to stock Apple iOS while preserving your iOS version. It then goes on to say, Before tapping on the button at the bottom of the screen, which says Erase All Data, Note that you should already have a complete backup of any data you want to keep. So as I mentioned earlier, you do want to make sure you have an iCloud or an iTunes backup before trying this. So it goes on to say that the device needs to be connected to the internet and the device also needs to be not low on battery. All right, so let's go ahead and tap on the big red button and then go ahead and hit erase all on the confirmation pop-up. From here, you will see a bunch of stuff running down here. I will be back. All right, so now we are on a brand new, fresh install of iOS 9.3.3 here on our iPad mini. Just to prove that we are on iOS 9.3.3, let's go ahead and open up settings. And as you can see there for the version number, we are still on 9.3.3. So there you have it guys. That is how you completely remove your jailbreak and restore your device while maintaining your same firmware. Now keep in mind that you do not keep all of your Cydia tweaks. So if you do restore from a backup, you will not keep any of your Cydia tweaks. You will have to reinstall everything, but you will be able to keep your photos and your contacts and your messages and your notes and things like that. So if you have any questions about this process or if you run into any kind of problems whatsoever, be sure to leave a comment down below. I will make sure to get back to you within the first 24 to 48 hours. So if you enjoyed, please give this video a thumbs up. Also, please consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video and want to see more just like it. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon.